<laughs> what? <laughs> so sure. Mm hmm. Shion. Why do you keep people at arm's length? <laughs> You're always trying to wave it off whenever someone's nice to you. Like with Tilsa just now. Why couldn't you just accept her gratitude? Our interests just happen to overlap. I don't want people thinking I'm doing things to be nice when in reality they benefit both of us. All I care about is that we hurry up and defeat the Lords. See? That's what I mean! <laughs> you want to defeat the Lords. I may have been skeptical at first, but now I really believe you meant it. Yet despite that, you still took the time to help out those injured Danans, didn't you? I did it because it was necessary and I got roped into helping out. Is that the same reason you helped that kid in Balsif's castle? Because it sure didn't look that way to me. <sighs> You've helped me too. Not just with my injuries, but by being there for me as well. Even though I can't feel pain, the injuries I get from using the Blazing Sword could probably kill me. That thought alone should be terrifying. But I know you'll always be there by my side, ready to heal me. It's because of you that I can wield the Blazing Sword. Like that. <laughs> if you get any closer, you're going to set off my thorns, you know. Uh, I was just trying to compliment you. You were? <gasps> what now? Sion, your thorns! It's okay. I'll stop talking about it. You... you will? In any case, I'm just glad that you're the one who ended up with the Master Core. Thank you, Xion, for everything. <sighs> now let's go check out those Gates of Fire. That monster that appeared from the spirit vessel, and the power inside the blazing sword, they're both born of the same thing. It's all astral energy harvested from the souls of dying Danans. I suppose so. And it was the Danans who gave their lives for today. Their power. After all this time, it's what finally destroyed Balsif and his wall. By the way, what happened to all the energy that we released? It's dispersing and spreading across Dana as we speak, finding its way back to where it belongs. And all the energy the Renans have harvested? Where does that go? One Sovereign's decided, I mean. I wager they don't give it back, right? <laughs> what? Can't tell the Dan in that? Or about why you want to kill all the lords? Oh, like you don't have anything to hide? The Blazing Sword. It's powered by the burning astral energy of the Master Core I possess. 
So why don't you explain how it manifested into the shape of that beast, hmm? Just how did you manage that? How am I supposed to know? My memory's a complete blank, remember? <sighs> <sighs> Fine, be that way. It's not like we ever trusted each other any... She's still not awake? Not yet. Her injuries aren't serious, but she's severely weakened. Must have been quite a fight. There's nothing we can give her? If only. What with the beatings we've taken lately? We're barely getting by on the little provisions we have as it is. That bad, huh? If there are no supplies here, then... That's it. We need Doc. Doc? The same Doc that took care of you? Yeah, he's back in Mosgul. If anyone can help us, it's him. In that case, would you mind asking for us? I'd go myself, but I'm tied up here for now. Not a problem. Leave it to me. I wonder what that girl's deal is. Never imagined anyone would ever come from outside the walls of Calaglia. It's really not that big of a deal. There are more realms out there than just Calaglia, you know. Maybe it sounds normal to you, and I've been behind those walls for as long as I can remember. Of course I knew there was more out there. But it sure didn't feel like it when unscalable walls are trapping you in. I hate to burst your bubble, but the rest of Dana isn't much better. The world's full of lords who are just as bad as Balsef. I know. That girl must have had her reasons for coming over to our territory. Even so, it's nice to see there really is life beyond the walls of Calaglia. It might not mean much to you, but that's reason enough for me to be happy. Think this is it? How would I know? It matches the description we were given, at least. No use standing around here hemming and hawing. Let's take it back and see. I hope you're right. There's no way I'm coming all the way back here. Is this what you asked for? Perfect. That'll do nicely. I had a feeling you'd come through for us. With this, the little one should be right as rain in no time. I can't believe it. Not often we get visitors from Cislodia around here. Cislodia? Calaglia's neighbor. One of the five realms. What with that wall in the way, I guess it's not surprising. But I've never actually met someone from the outside world before. Up till now, the only time the gates ever opened was to let Renan convoy units in and out. No one ever thought to stow away and hitch a ride out? This place might be a living hell, but when next door is a living hell too, you start thinking it doesn't matter much one way or the other. So you're Rinwell, and you're with the Cislodian Resistance known as the Silver Swords. Your organization sent a group of you to establish contact, but you're the only one who made it through. That sound about right? Lately, our people's oppression has become more and more severe. When we heard rumors that you had staged a successful rebellion in Calaglia, we hoped that maybe you could help us. News sure gets around quickly, huh? If you ask me, it's awfully convenient she just happened to show up now. Certainly raises a lot of red flags. Please, I swear it's true! My people are dying! I risked my life trying to get here so I could find help. It's okay. You did well. We'll take it from here. <laughs> Hold on, Zephyr. You're not really thinking... We'll join her. Alfin, start getting ready. I let you use the Blazing Sword, and we work together to overthrow the Lords. 
That was the deal, remember? Wait, is that a Renan? What is this? Take it easy. It's complicated, but she's on our side. She helped to find some medicine for you. She did? But no, she's a... I, I can't believe it. The Renans from other realms could attack at any time. That's for you all to worry about. I've got bigger fish to fry. That sword of Alfin's is our best weapon. We can't just go lending him to other lands. Even if you keep him here, the blade's as good as useless without me on board. And what makes you think I can't persuade you, Bright Eyes? What makes you think you can? Last I checked, you couldn't even touch me. Enough! Alfin, what do you want to do? I... I know all too well the hardships the slaves of this realm had to endure. That's why I took up the sword. To help them. If Danans are being oppressed in other realms, then... then I have to help them too. Nath has a point. We can't discount the possibility of further attacks, but now, our struggle has grown. It's become much larger than just liberating the people of Calaglia. We can't be in two places at once, Zephyr. True. Which means we're limited in our options. We play this the same way we did with Balsef. I have a bad feeling about this. You and me both, but it's too late for regrets. Jeez, really? You don't say. So, you're really going, huh? Just the four of you? Uh, afraid so. Look after the place while we're away. <laughs> Always the smooth talker. We'll do what we can to hold down the fort. We've got the Renans to keep us busy. Good luck. Just remember... Yeah, yeah, don't go killing anyone without good reason, I get it. I'm not about to repeat what they did. Let's move, people. Do you think we'll really be able to wipe the Renans off the face of Dana? Who said anything about doing that? But we have to in order to survive. Don't we? Now that you have the Blazing Sword, and have shown that we really can win this fight, do you really think we should go around killing every last Renan? But what else are we supposed to do? Say we go around killing Renans, so they don't kill us first. In turn, that'll just make more and more of them want to kill us. Where does it end, once you enter such a vicious cycle? Is that why you told Grenar not to kill any Renans without a good reason? I'm not saying we should forgive and forget what they've done to us. But we can't let ourselves be dragged down by our own hatred, either. Hatred comes in many forms. And there's no one solution that will work in every situation. We have to keep searching for new ones, if we're going to survive. It's a lifelong journey, finding the answers. That goes for you, too. You have to come up with your own answers. Hey, Zephyr. Why do you keep fighting? What do you mean? Until I met you and the Crimson Crows, all the Danans I ever knew just accepted their lot in life as slaves. Hell, even I was like that. But all of you in the Resistance are different. Even when you have no hope of winning, you keep on fighting. Why is that? Come on, that's an easy one. I just refuse to live life as a slave, that's all. Better to die fighting for freedom than to live as a slave, huh? Let me ask you a question, Alfin. What does it mean to you to not be a slave any longer? I guess it means living a life not being ruled by the Renans, right? But what about the Danans who died standing up to the Renans? Are they still slaves? 
<sighs> Would they be truly free if all they did was follow my orders and die without knowing what it was they were doing? But that's... Being a slave isn't just a position. It's also a state of mind. Don't become my slave, Alfin. What's got you so worked up, Hoodle? Is that? Watch out! They know we're here! Flying Zoogles, huh? This is going to get interesting. They're nothing I haven't seen before. Shion! I'll shoot them down, you finish them off. Got it? What was it those Zoogles were attacking just now? Is that...? What? It's nothing. I only helped because it was convenient. We couldn't have moved forward without clearing out those Zoogles. <laughs> I don't know what's got you ticked off at me this time, but I suggest you keep your hands away from me. No one asked you to help. Rinwell, she healed its wounds. She's not trying to hurt it. How can you be so... like they're talking to each other. He's probably happy to see another owl. I don't think Hoodle's ever met one before. He might have been wondering if he was the only one. Ha ha! Oh! You just barely got to say hi. At least we know it's out there. I'm sure we'll run into it again somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Right, Hoodle? I'm always impressed how good of a shot you are, Xion. What do you mean? Just that all I'm good for is throwing myself at things with all my might. By comparison, your way is more... How do I put it? Precise. It's not like I'm that good of a... Look, that's just how it is with guns. If you miss, it's a wasted bullet you can't get back. Is that why you're always aiming to exploit enemies' weak spots? I wouldn't say every shot is that deliberate, but that is part of it. For example, if I see a flying enemy, I'll often go for their wings. Also, if I see a jumping enemy without wings, I know they're an easy target because they can't get out of the way while in the air. In your case, I bet it's easier for you to deal with enemies that stay on the ground, right? Definitely. Things that can fly circles around me are a real pain to deal with. Exactly. It's important to keep your enemy's movements in check. True. Although your shots have the added benefit of stunning enemies, so it's easier to swipe materials from them. It's really helped out. It's nothing, really. As long as you keep doing your part when we fight, I'd say we're even. I take it we're heading through here, then? Everything all right, Zephyr? Yeah, it's nothing. What is that? A ring? It was my wife's. Your wife? You never mention anything about being married. That's surprising. You said was. So then, is she gone? Was it the Renans? No, she was sick. I couldn't get her the medicine she needed, and then she was gone. I'd always wanted to show her the world as it could be. I'm sorry. Don't be. There are plenty of people out there more deserving of your sympathy than me. But... but... Uh... <sighs> Let's go. What is this place, anyway? What's with these columns and steps? No idea. I've never been here before, either. 
Rena's convoy squads probably used it in the past. I guess. It's definitely seen better days. You wouldn't know anything, would you, Xion? Nope. And I'm not interested in learning, either. <sighs> Actually, these are Danon ruins. See? You can tell by the way the columns are decorated and stuff. They're all old Danon designs. Are you saying these things were built more than 300 years ago, then? Yeah. I have no idea what they were used for, though. It's amazing to think our ancestors were capable of making such structures. Hopefully there'll come a time when us Danans will be able to walk through here freely again. That's exactly what you're fighting for, isn't it? Let's keep moving. Yeah. Right. It's freezing in here, and after how hot it was outside, too. It must be the cold air sweeping in from Cislodia. It's the polar opposite of Calaglia, so I'd get used to it if I were you. Is the little guy okay? Oh, don't worry about Hoodle. He's from Cislodia. Probably just nerves is all. He's not really used to being around other people this much. Rinwell, how about filling them in on what to expect from Cislodia? Oh, yeah. Hmm, let's see. Well, for starters, nobody trusts nobody. Come again? Just like I said, you never know when snake eyes are watching you. That's what they call their lord's henchmen, apparently. Their official title is the Bureau of Civil Observation. They've got cronies undercover everywhere, observing us at all times. So? Renan surveillance was an everyday part of life in Calaglia. Difference is, in Cislodia, it's not just Renans. They've got Danon spying on each other, too. Or in other words, there's the Snake Eyes themselves, plus all their small-time informants. All it takes is someone squealing on you, and it's straight to labor camp. No questions asked, no goodbyes. Of Course, informers are rewarded handsomely for their deceit. Everyone's always got one eye open, waiting for the moment to inform on someone before being tattled on first. Hence the not trusting one another, huh? In that case, what do you think they'll make of us? Hard to say. Although, not being from Cislodia will probably help, honestly. More trustful of outsiders than even your own people. Why go along with it, though? Why doesn't anyone take a stand? Not everyone is strong enough to stand, Alfin. That's why the world needs people like us. <laughs> Not much further now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans. Yet we rarely take up arms, because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan Motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is we don't stand a chance. 
So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all in spite of their technical advantage has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zoogles here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Xion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Hmm. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that, and give her the support she needs. You two are gonna be stuck together for a while, so the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way. I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. Thanks. Now you've got me wondering. How'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. Lucky indeed. It's crazy to feel just how much the temperature has changed from crossing over a single peak. Is it really that big of a difference? Definitely. Calaglia was hot. I can only tell from appearance, so... Huh? Huh? Achoo! You might not be able to feel it, but it sure looks like your body responds to it just the same. Seems like it. So if I sneeze, I guess that it's a sign that it's getting chilly. They say that sneezing is often the first sign you're coming down with the cold, too. That's all the more reason you need to be careful with... Ha-choo! Was that also a sneeze? I just bit my tongue, that's all. No. It sounded a lot different from mine. But I could swear it was still... It wasn't a sneeze, okay? 
Guess we both need to be careful out here in the cold. <laughs>